if you get anything from this video, it's that education is an ongoing process. And just because you read one thing doesn't make you educated. Just because you read 100 things doesn't make you completely educated. Education is not something that is achieved and that's it. It's a constant ongoing process that never ends. Hi guys, I'm Monica and welcome back to my channel, Money Reads, where I talk about books and things. And I know you're thinking, wow, this is a new uh, filming space, and it is. It's actually um, on my kitchen, well not my kitchen, I'm in my kind of living room, dining room area. And honestly, the reason I am filming here today is because I like the light that's coming in. And where I usually film that's over there, it's cloudy, so it was really dark and I was not liking it. So, that's just a random thing for you to know <laughs> but when are my videos not random i'm sorry i'm gonna i'm gonna move you up a little bit because at least there you can see my books today i want to talk about the books that i am going to be reading this month and the coming months to further my education about racism in america and in the world now i say in america first because the books that i chose to read first are mostly about people in America and it's not because racism is only in America I want to make I want to stress that so much racism is everywhere every single country every single space has racism in it in my last video I said that I sadly had no books to recommend for you to read and this is not me recommending these books to you this is me telling you these are the books that I'm personally reading to further my education and maybe you want to read along with me maybe you want to buy some of these books maybe you want to do some more of your own research but these are the books that I'm personally going to be picking up reading in the next couple of months and hopefully I will have some of them to review for you in my upcoming wrap up so let's get this show on the road now I have the books on my Kindle because I want to say surprisingly yeah, surprisingly, I actually thought that most of them were not available for physical copy here through Amazon in Spain. I see that a few of them have been available, but at the moment they're not. I'm hoping that is because people are buying them to read them. Let's start with the first one that I decided to go with, which is the only book here not written by a black author, and that is White Fragility, Why It's So Hard for White People to Talk About Racism. This book talks about why there is such a reluctance from white people to accept that we perpetuate racism throughout the world and how we get into the stage of anger, denial, and say, no, that's not me, when in reality, you might not realize that it's you. At least that's what I got from the synopsis. Remember, these are just books that I'm thinking about reading and that I haven't read yet. This was written by Robin D'Angelo, who coined the term white fragility in 2011. To the, and she uses this term to describe the, pro, the process of anger, feel, guilt, denial, and silence. And those are the ways in which ordinary white people react when it is pointed out to them that they have done or said something that has unintentionally caused racial offense or hurt. And I'm sure we have all been there. I mean, nobody's perfect. I'm definitely not perfect. Sometimes we make mistakes and I would like to be able to have the tools and the abilities to face my mistakes without going into this whole denial anger process, you know, and why that happens. So that's the first book that I chose. Next up, this one I chose off of the list, which I will be linking down below the list of books written about racism. One of the lists is only women of color authors, and the other list is a list of books that were voted on for people to read that are all non-fiction about racism. So this one is So You Want to Talk About Race by Ijoma Olu. I'm sorry if I'm pronouncing that name incorrectly. I love the blurb because it's here Ijeoma Olu offers a hard-hitting but user-friendly examination of race in America. She, in this book, she guides readers of all races through subjects ranging from intersectionality and affirmative action to model minorities, which is something that is really important because there is like this idea of the good black person, which, you know, when Kobe Bryant died, we were all for black people, 
I'm just saying and like the good immigrant and that kind of stuff so I think this is a really good starting point and I'm really excited to get to it the next book I picked up was is again from Shay's blackout readathon and that is white rage the unspoken truth of our racial divide I also want to point out that all of these books are super short so if you're not into nonfiction and still want to get some education about this subject these are great books because for example this one is only 248 pages that doesn't mean that it's not good that just means that you know it's more accessible to you if you want to start reading nonfiction but don't want to commit to a 500 page book which i totally get this book is from the civil war to our combust combustible present acclaimed historian carol anderson reframes our continuing conversation about race chronicling the powerful forces opposed to black progress in america and that is really important because we as a society literally stop black people from progressing there's another book that i'm kind of have on my radar which is how europe has stopped the progress in africa and that is one that i haven't made the choice i haven't bought it yet but that is definitely on my radar i will insert the the picture of it right here so that you guys know it just in case you're interested because we as a na we as a nation of humans have stopped the progress of black people in general including the progress of africa so yeah that's white rage and this was written by carol anderson who is a black woman and then we've got the new jim crow mass incarceration in the age of color blindness i i this was the number one book recommended in one of the links that i have below in this book lawyer and activist michelle alexanders offers a stunning account of the rebirth of case-like system in the united states one that has resulted in millions of African Americans locked behind bars and then relegated to a permanent second class status, denied the very civil rights supposedly won by the civil rights movement. And this is such an important thing because I know that in America, in Amer again, I'm talking about America because these are the things that I know 100% and I don't want to be over here feeling facts that are not true because I am completely against that. But I know that in America there is a great number of black people incarcerated and what happens when you're incarcerated in America if it's for a felony you lose the right to vote and also these people have this forever on their records and if we're talking about a society that is already racist and then you have somebody trying to find a job that has something on their record then you are just pushing that person down constantly and the incarceration of black people in America is just crazy again throughout the world yes but this book specifically talks about america i just i keep repeating that because i don't want anybody to think that there is places where there's no racism but anyway i'm going to continue to read the blurb because again i i, I don't i don't want to get any of this wrong because this is such an important subject like if i get a fiction book wrong it's fine but this is this is this is a place where i want to be as correct as possible and the book says challenging the notion that the election of Barack Obama signaled a new era of color blindness in the United States the Jim Crow reveals how racial discrimination was not ended but merely redesigned so uh, I'm really I'm really excited I'm really pumped to get through to this book and to get through all of these books really and now the last book that I plan to read for now I mean I plan to read more I hope you know but for now I want to read Just Mercy, A Story of Justice and Redemption by Brian Stevenson. Now, Brian Stevenson was a young lawyer when he founded the Equal Justice Initiative, a legal practice dedicated to defending the most desperate and in need, the poor, the wrongly condemned, and women and children trapped in the farthest reaches of our criminal justice system. One of his first cases was that of Walter McMillan, a young, a young man who was sentenced to die for a notorious murder he insisted he didn't commit. The case drew Brian into a tangle of conspiracy, political machination, and legal brinkmanship. Sorry, I'm, I'm, I, I'm so bad at reading out loud. And transformed his understanding of, mercies, of mercy and justice for er, forever. Just Mercy is at once an unforgettable account of an idealistic, gifted young lawyer's coming of age, a moving window into the lives of those he has defending, and an inspired argument for 
compassion in the pursuit of true justice. So those are the books that I plan to be reading in the coming month, in the coming weeks about racism and the way I plan to educate myself about these issues. I am... I, I want you to take this and maybe come along the journey with me, but I also want you to understand one thing. A lot of people have been asking black people to recommend books that they should read to educate them. And you know what? That's some bullshit. <laughs> I'm sorry, but that is some bullshit. Black people don't have to educate you. You have to educate yourself and it is not the job of black people or any minority to educate you on things that you can educate yourself on. So don't take this video as me saying these are the books that you should be reading to educate yourself. But if you want to use these recommendations as books you also want to read because you don't know where to start, well, I'm here giving you a place to start. But remember, this is just the starting point. You can't just go into this and think, well, now I know all I need to know. No, you have to further your research. And reading books is what I talk about on my channel. So it's what I am recommending. But there are also incredible documentaries out there. There are also incredible people on Twitter who are tweeting about the experience without being asked because they feel like it and they're talking about their experiences. So listen, listen to black people, listen to their voices, watch non-fiction documentary accounts of things, watch what they are saying, okay? I know that I am not black, <laughs> I, I own a mirror, I am not black, but I am somebody that wants to be educated. And this is just my starting point. If you wanna come along the journey with me, that's great. But remember, there is so much more that you can do. And as always, I will leave linked down below the links I left in my previous video, which are all uh, the petitions you can sign, where you can donate. There are other ways that you can educate yourself and that you can help black people. You can protest. You can talk to your relatives about their racist undertones. This is basically the video. Links are in the description box to further educate yourself, to further help the, the situation at the moment. And I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you are thinking about picking up any of these books yourself, please let me know down below so maybe we can discuss them. And as always, my Twitter is linked down below. I have been tweeting a lot about this situation. And in my upcoming video, I'm going to talk about some interesting fiction books that I think need to be talked about more in the sci-fi community that talk about Afrofuturism and what is Afrofuturism and why you should be reading about it. So I hope I can get that video together. I, I'm trying to do my homework and trying to make these videos as less about me, more about the content. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you so much for subscribing, liking. Thank you for everyone that commented on my last video and thank you for being here because if you clicked on this video, it means you're looking forward to further educating yourself about things that you recognize you might be a bit ignorant about. And when I say a bit ignorant, I don't mean that you are an ignorant person. It's just that we are all ignorant in one area or another. I'm very ignorant in a lot of areas and this happens to be one of them. So without anything left to say, I will see you guys in a galaxy far, far away. And thank you once again for watching this video. Bye guys.